okay so the model the star schema you request your data modeler to provide you star schema in order to build the bi reporting eventually what we are doing eventually we are creating reports and submit to the user the next thing is attributes now what is attribute each dimension contain attributes used to search filter and classify facts let's under, understand the real requirement okay so my requirement is like this the business wants to analyze a product based on category sub category the business also wants to analyze product this way first product analytics analysis based on category which is given over here they also want to based on consumer type it means they want to identify what is my category of consumer and who likes this so my category of consumer assume uh my consumers are kids these are three type of my consumer right and these products are primarily liked the associate is a property associate with each product who likes this so this product is for kids a associate properties or characteristics what is the benefit of associate characteristics we are giving one more opportunities or degree of analysis to the user to the business now at any point of time business want to see which category of users i'm getting the ceo ask which category user i'm getting more revenue am i getting more revenue from consumer type kids ladies or gentlemen what is important in order to achieve this we need to segregate the information not only based on type but also based on categories like so for each product type there is a property you can call this as a property right what properties each product has a certain type consumer type is associated again business also wants to do a market analysis my consumer like product in which package type again the products is available in bottle in can and different other package type so i should supply the product in which which you know which package type so that i get more revenue right so again there's a property associate this product is primarily designed for kids and it is available in bottle or a can this is also a property so again what is the moral of the story you identify the characteristics associated with each member to give a high degree of analysis to the user to the business so this is called attributes properties or characteristics which we associate with each dimension member and this can be used for filter analysis or reporting filter means if i say i apply filter and say i want only those product which are primarily liked by kids these are the product and assume there are sales are also associated with this sales real time analysis 
you would like to know the total revenue you are receiving from consumer type kits you perform the sum of them then you say you want to find the revenue where consumer type is ladies you find the sum of their sales so attributes allowing you to analyze the data based on certain properties so next challenging task is to identify filter the attributes we'll discuss about attribute further from hyperion point of view for now attributes like a characteristics hierarchy we already discussed example of hierarchy given over here is that a geographical hierarchy right you all then europe under europe you have germany span and north america when you when your business share the data or the metadata structure the hierarchy is hidden over there if you look at some requirement i show you further one more requirement there we need to we need to figure out what dimension or what fact hierarchy hidden over there so let's see this requirement now if you look at this requirement carefully what i am going to talk about we are forecasting our business expenses forecasting business expenses for current year and future year what are my expenses these are the category of expense right and you look at these expenses are driven from the revenue 2% of my revenue goes to material and supply 40% of my business revenue goes to labor excluding owner these are my category of expense when you look at carefully you find this is the hierarchy each requirement hierarchy is hidden like we have got business revenue and then we have got expenses expenses of what first we have variable cost under variable cost we have expenses called material and supply labor excluding cost these are various category of expenses then we have different kind of other kind of expenses called fixed cost under fixed cost we have location administration so look at the hierarchy is visible right expense variable cost and fixed cost under variable cost this kind of expenses all the requirement the hierarchy is somewhere or other way it is mentioned this is we we have to identify what is the hierarchy is. sometime it is not 